Welcome back, my beautiful people. So I finally got that stupid kayak out. It looks better, doesn't it? So I still haven't figured out my tea yet. And I kind of wanted to talk about like mania. If you stop taking testosterone or if you stop taking estrogen, it's not going to revert you back to like being a female or being a male. The changes that come with taking estrogen or testosterone is permanent. So the only thing that's going to get affected when you stop taking it is like you're going to be emotional. Mentally, you're going to be a little all over the place. You might have some fatigue, you might be cranky. For me, um, I don't get fatigued till like a couple weeks down the road. Um, like I don't think that I could go three weeks again without taking my shot. Two weeks is cool. But um, I noticed that like I, maybe it's just me mentally, or maybe it's because I haven't been taking my shot regularly, but I have severe mania all the time now. Like, and I know that if I start a project, I'm not gonna be able to finish it with the same intent that I started it with. Being manic and emotional because I haven't taken my shot, like it is my responsibility to stop and reflect and be like, this is why I'm doing this. It has nothing to do with the people around me. It's nobody else's fault. It's just, it is what it is. And I talk about it a lot, but I think that it is really important to be self-aware of your own emotions so that you're not ruining relationships around you or like making people sad or making people mad or like, like your, your fucking feelings aren't real, <laughs> you know? But like, I struggle with when I'm manic, I want to fix all the broken relationships that like I have severed ties with or like I let things happen that I know that like regular me would be like, dude, why did you do that? Why did you put yourself in that situation? And it's not me, it's a mania, you know? But like it, it's gonna hit everybody differently. And that's not just because like those side effects are basically what happens when you first start taking testosterone like you have an overwhelming like urge and you're angry and you're horny and you're hungry and you are upset and agitated like it's like going through fucking puberty all over again but like the emotional changes that go with transitioning is such a big fucking deal and I like I emphasize on it because it is such a big deal like I've basically I'm 24 and I went through menopause already you know what I mean so like those changes I think like that's why I feel like I'm so old now not that like going through menopause makes you old but like mentally I'm not the same person that I was when I started taking testosterone because of the hormonal changes that come with transitioning you know what I mean but man it makes shit hard sometimes like been a little cranky but I'm also a little sad but I'm not sad for any particular reason but I'm gonna get it fixed soon just like I'm gonna get everything else fixed but I don't know <laughs> I want to go kayaking I didn't throw drop the kayak in there because I was really afraid of like popping it on the muscles and the shit that's underneath the dock and I have like two my neighbor has like two dinghies in the spot that I would be going out of. But it's just, it, I don't want to risk it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna wait till the tide comes in a little bit. It's like really low, but. And we could talk about the moon and the retrograde and all of that other jazz, but I think that it's just my mental. <laughs> I guess in saying that, like, you're kind of responsible for, like, knowing your emotions and navigating your own emotions and, like, being held accountable for those reactions that aren't real, I think that's something that should be talked about is that, like, in relationships, your partner may not be into your, your junk, you know? And I think that my view on that situation in the beginning of my transition is a completely different than it is right now. So 
in the beginning, I think it would have really hurt my feelings if like I had gotten with somebody and they said, well, I'm just not into that. Because it would have been like, shit, you're not into me. Like you don't like me. But like in all reality, like somebody could love you and like you and want to be with you. But when it comes down to being like intimate, they just may not be into that. And some people can navigate through that and like find ways to be okay with something that they're not normally into. And I think that that takes like somebody that's super open. But like now, like if somebody were to say that to me, I don't think that like it wouldn't hurt my feelings. But that just is like perspective and like growing into my own transition that I feel like I would, I'm okay with it now because I'm more mature and like, yeah, I get that. Instead of like being insecure about my myself and wondering what's wrong with me, because nothing's wrong with you, you know what I mean? It's just, some people prefer it, some people don't. I personally could not be with a cis man or a trans woman that hasn't had bottom surgery just because I don't like, and that's not like, that's not something bad. I just can't sexually get down with that but that doesn't make them like disgusting or weird or wrong you know what i mean it just is like personally i can't do that people can't personally do me and that's fine you know what i mean and i think that comes a lot with like emotional maturity being able to realize that like a situation like that can either explode or sizzle you know what i mean like and that's all based off of how you react to somebody being open and honest with you about their genital preference but i think that it's important to like understand your own emotions before you involve somebody else's opinions or emotions because you have to be okay with yourself to be able to hear something that is not positive you know what i mean not that it's not not that it's wrong it's just like it would hurt you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking. Maybe I'm just fucking rambling, but... Ugh. I don't know. I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed, and we're gonna be, like, ready to go. But, like, your energy levels do go up and down, and your emotions... Like, I cried today. I ain't gonna cry no more. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. But... in due time i love you guys thank you for listening to me talk and ramble about nothing and i hope that you come back do what all the professionals tell you to do like comment subscribe and drop a sailboat in the comments so i know that you're here i know that you're listening even if you're not listening just do it please i love you bye